So Daryl Jacob, 2012 Grand National winner. Firstly, talk to a mere mortal like me. Those fences, we can just see the chair in the distance there. How scary is it approaching one of those? Well, they obviously are different. <laughs> That's the start. Mind you, they can, they can, you can get a lot of fun out of them. If you've got a good jumper, you, get, you can get an, a, you know, an awful lot of fun out of them. But mind you, I've ridden a few horses that haven't enjoyed jumping them fences and uh, it can be quite scary. Are you thinking, oh my God, that fence is massive? You are nervous when, uh, when you're not on a good jumper. Um, because you got to, they take a, they take plenty of jumping and um, and you got to ride them and especially if a horse isn't if a horse doesn't respect them fences and you've literally got to try and show jump them over every fence you've got to help them out enormously mm. um, to get over them fences and you're kind of just thinking you know if they don't take to it or after three or four it, um, you kind of know your fate that uh, at some point you'll probably end up on the floor. So how how much of that work then is down to the horse and the jockey? Yeah, obviously a lot of you know obviously the jockeys are on top and we got to get the pace right we got to get you know we got to get the pace right for the horses i mean it's, every horse is different you know some horses have got a very high cruising speed some horses are slower than other horses so you know the whole thing is about rhythm so the horse has got to be in his rhythm and in a comfortable rhythm to jump out of um, so if the horses say if the pace of the race is too fast um, you're obviously they're not going to be able to jump as well out of it so you've got to take them back to get them into that into that right space that they're happy to jump out of them because obviously they're bigger than the normal fences so they're going to take a lot more impulsion to get over them so um, pace is very 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 it's crucial. So close to the Grand National what's your preparation looking like? You know I've got a lot of homework to do um, you know we've obviously got two days of racing before before the Grand National so you know I've got to focus on my rides tomorrow focus on my rides uh, Friday and, uh, and then obviously Saturday so you know I'll go back and I'll, I'll study a lot of horses form um, for tomorrow, but then also I'll be looking at one one eye will be on Saturday. I'll be looking at horses that you know I want to follow during the race, um, and horses not to follow during the races that I think will will adapt to the to the Grand National type fences, and also horses that won't adapt to it. It does seem cruel that there's a KFC right on the gate of entry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you must be you must be desperate for a square meal now. I can't remember the last time I had a KFC, so um, unfortunately I'm one of the heavier lads in the way room, so uh, them luxuries don't come very often to me. Sure, I mean you mentioned in that documentary that your life is a constant struggle to stay two stone under what your body wants to be. How, that must be so hard. Yeah, look, it, it's obviously tough at times, um, obviously when, you know, if your friends and stuff like that are going out for a nice meal and they're going out socialising and you've got lightweight the next day, you've got to make a lot of sacrifices um, to do the job that we're doing. Um, but like I say, look, I love it. Um, you know, and, I, and I've, made, I've made plenty of sacrifices in the past and I'll make plenty of sacrifices in the future because I just love getting up every morning and riding some beautiful horses and, and going racing and, and like you say, having the thrill of, of riding, um, you know, big winners. Obviously, your focus is now on that Grand National and it is... It's, a, it's an honour, really, to speak to you ahead of such a, a great race. You obviously take the ride of Bristol, Bristol de May. What are, what are your chances? What are you thinking? Generally, I'm, I'm really excited to be riding him. Um, I, I was lucky enough to win it on Neptune Cologne, um, and he's going to be the classiest horse I've ridden um, in the Grand National since Neptune Cologne. So I know I've got a class horse underneath me. Um, his record speaks for itself. Um, he's won uh, three Betfair chases. He's been placed in the Gold Cup, um, you know, and he, he is a class horse. I think he'll adapt to the fences nicely. Um, the trip is obviously a slight unknown, obviously, because it's it's going to take a lot more, um, you know, it's, a, it's an extra distance that he's never ever raced beyond before. But um, I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem. I'm going to ride him like as if it's not a problem. And like I say, the ground is going to be beautiful. It's going to be, it's going to be good to soft out there. And I think that's going to be over this sort of trip carrying that sort of weight, I think it's right up the street. You've been schooling him down at Nigel Twiston Davies, obviously we saw that on Sporting Life. How's he jumping? Does he feel good? Yeah, he feels really good. Um, Nigel and um, Sparky have done a wonderful job with him. We've obviously kept him fresh um, since Sandown. Um, to come here, he's, 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 he's best when he is very, very fresh, and very, very fit and very, very well. Um, we think we've got him in that in, in that space at the moment. And, and like you say, we've had no hiccups coming into it. Um, and like you say, we're, we're very, very happy with the preparation for him. Finally, you've won this race back in 2012 on Neptune Colons. I mean, you're almost as great as he is now. Yeah. Um, what would it mean to you to win it again? I don't think I'll ever have um, a better, you know, 
for Simon and Isaac especially, they're 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 huge fan um, of this race. They they love the Grand National. It's it's a race that you know when I first started getting associated with them, it's a race they've always wanted to win. It's a race that they've always targeted with with horses, and I think it's a great shout for them and bold shout to, to run Bristol in the race. Um, and I know for a fact I, I you know I'd never achieve anything bigger if I could ride them a Grand National because I know how much it means to them and. You know, if I could be a part, a small part of, of something for that, I'd mean, like I say, it's be incredible. It really would be. I'd, I've done words, I suppose, don't really describe how, how I feel after.